I mean, Tom, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you look at things, we are going to have an elimination chamber. And there was a possibility that we were not going to have an elimination chamber if they would have sent the cage up the Suez Canal as they originally planned. I don't know if you've seen this news, everybody. It's up on the front page of the Wrestling Observer website. I think Joseph Courier was the one who posted it up there that while speaking at WWE's press event slash pep rally in Perth today, Michael Cole revealed that it took more than a month for the Elimination Chamber cage to get to its location at Optus Stadium. The structure was supposed to be shipped through the Suez Canal, but that couldn't happen due to pirates. Yes, pirates. The cage was instead sent to Miami, then shipped by truck to Los Angeles, then shipped to Sydney, Australia, and then arrived in Perth on a train from Sydney. So, Tom, I mean, I, you may know better than me. I mean, are there any steps that could have been taken by those men that are, 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 are captaining these boats where they could have fought off some of these pirates? Well, first, I'd just like to clarify that this is the Captain Jack Sparrow type of pirate not the high budget triple x film pirates that stopped the elimination chamber from reaching its destination shout out to carmen luvana now coincidentally yesterday on my youtube feed popped up what do cargo ships do to deter pirates and it was a 15 minute video and i watched it little did i know Little did I know that I would use this knowledge here today, because in that video, there were quite a number of different tactics they would use. One, the water gun. I was going to say outgun them, I think would be yes. number one. But Well, that, the water gun is one of them, the giant water hose that you try to spray the pirates with as they approach. You could use a cannonball you could use other firearms they throw out a trip wire of sorts i guess would be the best way to put it like a some netting that trips up the boats sometimes stopping them and heaving the pirates overseas i swear and, i saw that in a looney tunes cartoon one time i think they drew a line in the water and then like the the boat hit it and they flew over that's where they got that technology from this is a serious show, Mike. Sorry. They also come equipped many times with barbed wire or chicken wire that they can put up in a haste to stop the pirates. Although there was a few years ago, and I, it may have actually happened in the Suez Canal, a few years ago, uh, and I believe it was an, an Israeli ship was boarded after a helicopter actually dropped off some of these pirates and a camera crew. I'll be damned. So, hmm. Well, we learned something today, and that's these. These are the steps that they could have taken. WWE could have taken as they 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 tried to get the cage over to, to Perth, Australia, for the elimination chamber. And look, SmackDown was taped <laughs> last Friday. Um, the the bloodline is going to appear. We get L.A. Knight and Drew McIntyre. Okay. Braun Breaker is going to debut. But obviously, all of this is leading in to tomorrow's elimination chamber show. And Tommy, me was there was there any more that you could tell us on the pirates, or was that pretty much everything? I could make a Paul Birchall joke of some sort, but uh, I'm going to, I won't do it. He was just on TNA or TNA. He was just on NWA last week. I believe it was wrestling the, the thrill Billy Silas Mason for the NWA national title or one of their titles that they had. But yeah, they broke Paul Birchall back out after quite some time. Didn't look too bad either. Always a fan of Paul Birchall, the, innovator of the c4 which is oftentimes misinterpreted as a spanish fly but i'm not going to get into that <laughs> the, the, te the technical differences between the c4 and the span i don't even remember the c4 i gotta well, be honest the one a, a I c4 remember is virtual a is the entrance and then the you know katie lee i remember her too uh the c4 is a one person 
Spanish Fly. Spanish Fly is a two-person move. It's a tag team move off the top rope. So well, I can't remember what Spanish was Spanish announced team. C4 is the same move, but it's done by one person. Hmm. Can you demonstrate? The people on the radio would love to see it. You're <laughs> one know. person. Let's, come on. Back up the camera. Let's see it. I can't <laughs> even pull it off on a gig when pe- somebody's paying me. <laughs> Never oh, mind here man. in my they- studio. Thank God we're we move not on. Paid. I know. Thank God we're not getting paid to do this show because, God, they would want their money back. But Elimination <laughs> Chamber, 5 in the morning. That means it's 2 in the morning, filthy Tom Lawler time. He'll be just going to sleep as this show begins for everybody else who's going to be watching it live. WWE World Heavyweight Championship Elimination Chamber number one contenders match, whatever you want to say. Randy Orton, Bobby Lashley, Kevin Owens, Drew McIntyre, LA Knight, Logan Paul, it screams to me that Drew McIntyre is going to win this thing filthy. We have not even really talked about, and nobody's talked about Orton or Lashley or Owens or even thought to try to build any of these gentlemen a story to get them into winning this match and on the way to facing uh, Seth Rollins. So, I mean, McIntyre or no one, what do you think? Well, I think Bobby Lashley's probably going to have to deal with some variation of the final testament i would imagine that'll take him out as seems to always happen to bobby lashley always some chicanery <laughs> hey i mean if i was if i was a booker bobby lashley would not be losing clean to very many people and he rarely does so i would imagine he's going to get taken out by them in some way shape or form i think kevin owens and logan paul are headed towards another showdown probably at wrestlemania for that title i would imagine after they've been feuding for the past few months and i like this feud and i'd like to see it culminate at wrestlemania so that leaves who else mike it leaves drew mcintyre of course who's a favorite it leaves randy orton and it leaves yeah la knight who although i'm sure there's a subset of fans who would love to see him win the belt here at Mania. I just don't quite think it's his time. However, it is time. Three, two, one for Drew McIntyre to kick us out to a break. You have the Peacock app, Granny. It tells me that I'm not on it anymore. Well, you better start logging in because I've been paying for it every month. I don't care anyway. I don't like it. Use Peacock or I'm going to stop paying for it. You can if you want to. Start from 1929. Who was president? Okay. Who was I'll, president when I was alive? That was Donald late. Trump. Some Shut like up. Well, let me do it. Okay. <laughs> up till 1933, it was Herbert Hoover. Hmm. Herbert Hoover. Yeah, and he was uh, 50. Uh, he was our 31st president. <laughs> hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.